everyone, it's Summer, the Unapologetic Esthetician here, and today we are breaking down the newest product line from Desium. It's called The Ordinary, and for those of you who may not be aware, it's a line of clinically formulated products that are super affordable and highly active. We're going to break down each product, and I'll be giving you my two cents along the way. This video is part one of a four-part series. Today we will focus on Desium as a company and The Ordinary's line of vitamin and retinol products. If you aren't interested in the entire breakdown, I'll leave timestamps in the description for each product so you can fast forward. Now before we even get into it, I know what you're thinking. Summer, this isn't a professional line. How can it be any good? Let me tell you, companies are upping their skincare game. Consumers are demanding more effective clinical formulations and there are brands out there who are listening. Customizable skincare is becoming a huge trend and powerhouses like L'Oreal and Estee Lauder are spending major dollars buying up smaller lines and expanding their active divisions. I'll leave links in the description if you're interested in reading more, but for now I want to focus on The Ordinary. It's important that we objectively discuss these lines because our clients are definitely doing the research. In fact, if you're a consumer looking into this line, I'm glad to have you here. I hope you find this video informative. Oh, and before I forget, this is not a sponsored video. Desium has no clue who I am. Let's get to it. Desium defines themselves as a humble and happy umbrella of good beauty brands focused on advanced functional beauty. According to their website, they were founded on the principle of doing everything others don't do, and they're changing the world of beauty based on this principle. The company is based out of Toronto, Canada and is the brainchild of CEO and founder Brandon Truex. Desium currently owns and operates more than 10 brands in the beauty world. They started out with one product in one market and now have over 50 products in more than 15 markets. Desium prides themselves on being authentic, different, functional, and sensibly priced. They don't allow a litany of ingredients in their products including parabens, mineral oil, and sulfates. Desium also does not test on animals and they don't pay others to. For this reason, none of their brands are sold in mainland China since animal testing is required for registration purposes. So far I'd say we're off to a pretty great start. Now let's look specifically at The Ordinary. The Ordinary line is full of vitamins, retinoids, direct acids, hydrators, oils, and complex serums. You won't be paying more than $20 US for any of the products, which is pretty amazing given the laundry list of actives they are providing. Let's start with their vitamins and retinoids. This 2% retinoid formula utilizes hydroxypinacolone retinoate, basabalol, which is the primary component of chamomile essential oil, and extract of tasman pepper fruit to combat visible signs of aging. The protective delivery system utilized in this serum reduces the incidence of irritation that is typically caused by retinol products that have a direct delivery system. I've linked a study in the description that discusses the use of a protective delivery system and their effectiveness in case you want to check it out. Sometimes it's nice to see the research behind why a company might choose a particular delivery system for their actives. This product is best used in the evening before you apply any other oils or creams to your face. This product is a water-free, stable emulsion of retinol. There is no protective delivery system with this product, so you are risking irritation. I think Desium makes a smart move in recommending their advanced retinoid product over this 1% emulsion for good reason. If you're not familiar with how retinol works, it prompts surface skin cells to shed more quickly, promoting newer cell growth. Retinoids also hamper the breakdown of collagen and thicken the deeper layers of skin where wrinkles get their start. Retinols are highly active, which is why many of them with higher concentrations are still only available via prescription. If you are considering this product, I highly suggest making an appointment for a thorough skin analysis with an esthetician. They can work with you to determine if this product is really a good fit for your skin. Most people experience some degree of skin effects, such as burning, redness, itching, peeling, and scaling that starts after two to three days and can last up to three months during use. There's no need to put yourself through that if the product isn't ideal to address your specific skin concerns. As with most retinol products, this one is also best used in the evening before you apply any other oils or creams to your face. It's a great product for normal and dry skin types as it does contain silicone, which may not work well with oilier skin. 
Oh, and before I forget, if you are using a retinol product, don't forget to wear sunscreen every single day. You should be wearing sunscreen every day regardless of your regimen, but it is especially important if you are using active skincare. Niacinamide, or vitamin B3, is a skin restoring ingredient that improves uneven skin tone, fine lines, and dullness. Zinc PCA can decrease the redness and irritation caused by acne and reduce oiliness. Research has shown it has anti-aging benefits due to its ability to thwart destructive enzymes that can damage the skin surface and lead to an aged, wrinkled appearance. I'm a huge fan of zinc in skincare, especially for sebum control. I also love niacinamide for rosacea. However, keep in mind that this serum is not an acne treatment. There are several causes and contributing factors that lead to acne, and it takes a skincare specialist to determine the best course of action to clear up your skin. This serum may work for those who deal with oily skin or breakout. However, if you are using a topical vitamin C in your regimen, you should not apply this serum along with it, as niacinamide can affect the integrity of vitamin C. So, if you're applying niacinamide in the morning, apply your vitamin C in the evening. The reason for this is twofold. First of all, ascorbic acid requires a pH of less than 3.5 in order to penetrate the skin which is very close to the 3.8 pH value where molecules begin to combine between absorbic acid and niacinamide. When the two compounds are mixed together, they essentially cancel each other out, totally negating any benefits you'd get from either ingredient. Secondly, in the presence of UV light, niacinamide and L-ascorbic acid can form hydrogen peroxide, which may lead to oxidative stress in the skin, impairing its ability to function and heal properly. Also, most if not all vitamin C derivatives must convert to L-ascorbic acid in order to be effective for our skin. So when you combine them with niacinamide, you are risking negative effects, and we don't want that. This is a water-free, silicone-free suspension of vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. It has a powdery feel because there is no silicone to surround the vitamin C during application. They say you should expect a tingling but non-irritating sensation for the first week or two of use. Of the vitamin C containing products by The Ordinary, this product has the highest concentration. Vitamin C is a potent antioxidant and is vital for collagen synthesis. It's beneficial for uneven skin tone and may even aid in the treatment of UV-induced photo damage. Hyaluronic acid is great for moisture retention and is a naturally occurring humectant. It's great for fine lines and surface wrinkles, plumping and adding fullness to the skin. When using a product that contains hyaluronic acid, be sure to follow it up with a great moisturizer. I have one issue with this product. You see, as an antioxidant, vitamin C isn't as potent as vitamin E or ubiquinone, also known as CoQ10. But when vitamin C is combined with vitamin E or CoQ10, something beneficial happens. If one antioxidant is depleted, it can borrow an electron from the other and vice versa, helping both antioxidants work better. So personally, I like to see vitamin C in conjunction with an E or a CoQ10 for stability's sake. But if you're gonna use this product, at least consider applying vitamin E oil afterwards. This light serum is meant specifically for brightening the skin. It contains ascorbic glucoside, which is a slightly less potent form of vitamin C. Ascorbic glucoside is more compatible with water, which makes for a pleasant texture. I have the same concern with this product as I do their vitamin C suspension, but you can always add an additional serum in conjunction with this one in order to get the most benefit. You already know what I'm going to say. If you go see an esthetician, we can help you determine the best product to use. Think of it like a supplement stack, but for your skin. We can make recommendations that will give you optimum results. Ascorbyl tetraisopalmitate is the newest form of vitamin C to hit the cosmeceutical market. It is a molecule derived from vitamin C and isopalmitic acid that has been shown to absorb into the skin faster than any other form of vitamin C tested. However, because this form of vitamin C is so quickly absorbed, there is an increased chance for irritation. This product should really only be used if you have resistant, non-sensitive skin. Of the three forms of vitamin C, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate is the weakest but also the most stable in the presence of light, heat, and air. Magnesium ascorbyl phosphate is a water-soluble form of L-ascorbic acid. 
If you are an extremely sensitive skin type, or if you take forever to use up your product, this may be a good choice for you. If you are acne prone, this serum also contains Sacha Inchi oil, an oil that contains a pretty balanced amount of linoleic and oleic acids. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the Ordinary's lines of vitamins and retinols. With a little guidance from a skincare professional, The Ordinary may be an affordable option for your actives. We'll see how the rest of the product line shapes up in the next part of our series. And that's it for today's video. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting the remaining videos in the coming days and would love to have you back. I have left links to my social media below if you'd like to connect with me. And there are tons of links to various resources as well in case you'd like to read up. Thank you so much for being here and as always, stay unapologetically you. Until next time, bye guys.